Hey folks, it's IOE Thrower back. So this time we're on the What Could Go Wrong subreddit. And, um, yeah. Uh, so some of these are quite long. And so because they're not the normal GIFs we, we see, but a lot of them are actually videos, I'm actually going to start higher up than I would normally start. Uh, so down here, we're going to start with. <laughs> what could go wrong if you backflip on an upward moving elevator? Apparently it's classic. I get the feeling he's going to smack his... He's obviously not going to finish the rotation right, so... What? Smack the... His, land on his head kind of thing? Yeah. Yep, land on his head. I mean, he obviously gets the height, and if if it wasn't moving up, he'd probably be fine. You know, the the cool thing is you get to see him be an idiot, and obviously his friends are set up to do exactly that. Um, but you know, if he'd been going down, he would have been fine. He wasn't. He wasn't going down though. <laughs> hmm. Reversing without looking into the mirror. Yes, I can't see how this could possibly go wrong. Oh, nope, does not exist. So obviously that's what happens. That is why you never, ever reverse without looking in the mirror, folks. You'll just cease to exist. Robbing a vape shop. Okay. Did all their profits go up in smoke? Yeah. <laughs> wow. So he strolls in all casual, but then he can't get the gun out, and then he drops the gun, then he fumbles, and then he just runs. So I'm guessing he starts running when he realizes that she's picked up the gun. Yeah. But she's smart enough to pick it up by the, the barrel and not by the handle. Oh, man. He's an idiot. <laughs> I mean, if you if your robberies go this badly, maybe you should get, just give up robberies, right? This is obviously not <laughs> being done by somebody with practice and expertise. Don't mix fire with stupid. It is a repos, but still. Wait. This is a re... We just saw this! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're, uh, we're not going to watch much of this because we just saw this. This is when he lights his, his pants on fire. Because he thinks somehow this is a good plan. If he just lit the lamp ramp and hadn't lit also lit his pants on fire, he would have been in a much better spot. But no. No, he decides to actually light his pants on fire and then hops around and then eventually his, his buddy puts them up for him. We're, we're not going to give that much time. If you want to go see that whole thing in, in detail, watch Accidental Slapstick. And that was a lot higher up, actually, so... Let's put on a ton of shirts. What could go wrong? Uh, I guess that... Oh, you can't get them off. Is that what's going on? <laughs> yep. She cannot get them off, and she is sweating because of the heat, and she can't move her arms enough because of all the the layers, and I gotta wonder if she had help getting them on, and since her, his, her help is like laughing in a corner somewhere, or if she's done this all by herself and she just can't get back off. Um, at this point in time, without help, 
scissors are, are going to be your only friend. And I mean, if you're if you're resorting to having used scissors, you probably you know. <sighs> right. Okay. Um. Well, I don't plan the. F what could go wrong when I don't plan the theft well? Also, a repost. And uh, apparently, OP planned a theft, huh? Okay. What? Inside. What is going on? And so what? He got his money, but now he can't leave? Is that a gun? He's shooting. He's he's trying to, like the movies, he's trying to shoot the locks out. Except, of course, that's the movies, and it doesn't actually work in real life, you idiot. Yeah, and that's not going to work either. If you can't do that getting in, you can't do that getting out. Actually, it'd be easier to do that to get in. Because I'm fairly certain that door in opened inward, right? Dude, if there's not a back door, you're screwed. Also, is, is, there, not, is there not a lock on the inside? Is this like... like and now, and now he's praying, cause, cause of course he was gonna rob them, and take all their stuff, but now he really doesn't want to go to jail, and he's sorry now. <laughs> uh, I'm done with those. Oh lord. Oh yeah, there's the cops. And the, yeah, he, he's he's so so done. Uh-huh. And now he gets to go to jail? Because he was a moron. Okay, so, so far we've had a couple of examples of how it has just not worth trying to commit robberies, right? What could go wrong jumping over a huge bale of hay? Uh, well, having grown up in farm country... I'm gonna say there's quite a bit that can go wrong. I'm gonna assume what he misses and faces. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know, realize it was moving. Oh, you moron! Why would you? For anybody who who can't tell based on course how fast that thing uh, that thing's going, that is a six foot bale of hay that you have to use a forklift to move. Um, you're not going to be able to move one of those by hand. So they got it started rolling down a hill somehow. And then this guy assumed he'd be able to like, parkour over it. And that just, that was never going to be the case. There is, there is no world in which he could do that. The only way he manages to make this work is if he was standing on something and he leapt forward. Then yeah, maybe he clears it. This is never gonna work out the way he wants it to. Oh lord. Driving without hands, feet, or brains. Well, yeah. I could I could see how this might go poorly. What in the world are you doing? Well, something tells me, based on the fact that we have video evidence of what you were doing, uh, you're never having a license again, which makes me much happier. Also, he took out a fire hydrant, so that's got to be some sort of like destruction of property or something. Hopefully, this guy never drives again, and you and I are a lot safer. Jeez. <laughs> trying to make a 
call in the middle of the street. Yeah, this is like people to talk and text. Well, or sorry, text and walk. Okay. Yep. Yep. I don't... I don't get it. There's a cop right there, right? Yeah, well, he just wants her to move. Um, the road rage is a bit extreme. And maybe she learned a lesson from this. <laughs> he drags her off the road. Wow. Okay. And the cops just like do 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 do. Nothing to see here, folks. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where that is, but I don't want to go there. I don't think I could handle that traffic. Right? Oh, and if you're from a country where your traffic looks like... Like, that's how your traffic flow is normally. I have no idea how you do it. Because that would drive me crazy. I mean... Wow. Okay, so we're going <laughs> to... I'm going to watch this, but uh, it might get cut. So what what, what, what could go wrong if I try and kill a guy walking his bike? At 12 minutes, let's see if this stays in the video or not. Okay, so guys, guys argument with driver. Driver then veers towards him. Oh yeah. Ho oh, ho ho That cyclist was not having any of it. You just put him down and then simply rolls away. Yeah, you don't judge a book by this cover. That book might hit you and put you in the ground. <laughs> what would happen what could happen? What, sorry, what could go wrong if I slurp noodles too fast? I mean, really, slurping noodles is is the only way to eat ramen, but uh, that's a lot of noodles. Oh! Oh! Wow! Almost? That was, that was impressive for about, like, half a second. And then it went really, really unimpressive. <laughs> Getting too close to a wild animal of any kind is not going to turn out the way it does in the, the Disney movies. That fox is like, you're following me. Why are you following me? Stop following me. And bit. Oh, he stole your wallet. Why was your wallet there? And you're never going to catch him. It's a fox. He is so much faster than you. It's not even getting. <laughs> Why? Yeah, you're never... You're, you're never going to catch him. Why was your wallet on the ground? <sighs> people okay don't tell me you've never attempted to do this what could go wrong uh well um i don't know what what this is so i can't <laughs> oh his shoes got eaten yeah he is totally going to have to pay for that. And he lost a sock. And he looks like an idiot. And he is not getting those shoes back. Yeah. I can't tell you. 
that I've never been tempted to do that. I have actually done that. It it didn't happen like this though, obviously. Um, and I didn't do it both feet at the same time. I did one foot and then the other foot, and it worked perfectly fine. Um, this guy though forgot to transfer his weight, and that's what happened. He was still all his weight was still on his heels, and they caught. And then, and that was the end of that. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Um, let's post dumb illegal things to social media. What could go wrong? Oh, well, you could get fired. You could. Holy smokes! Yeah, 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 yeah. And you're you're guilty. There's it's not like you can say, Hey, I uh I didn't do it or anything like that. This is so stupid. Why would you do something like that? There are these things, okay? They're generally out in the country, but they're sometimes in the middle of cities. Um so you go to them, you you, you can bring your own or you can rent what's there, and you and and then there's targets down range and you can shoot guns so, uh, for whatever they're called gun ranges go there don't do this garbage not only that um some of them you can rent some really sweet weaponry uh if you ever want to try out some of the bigger guns that you will probably never get your hands on otherwise unless you're a gun collector in which case uh, don't invite me over to your house. What could go wrong when I pass this truck while being chased by the police? First off, being chased by the police is already going wrong. So, anything else you do is just going to compact. Wait, is that your bumper? He's missing his bumper. All right, he's... Oh, that's the truck he's, supposed, he's trying to pass? Yeah, it's, it's going to eat him alive. Yeah, because it was trying to go there, and you decide you were going to pass it on the wrong side, and it squished you. And t now instead of helping your getaway, it has complicated your getaway, and it took your door off. So it's not even like you could hide in the car. Good job, buddy. Good job. Uh, sorry about that. Slight coughing fit. Anyways, so. What could go wrong if you're picking fights with random people? Um. Well. Eventually somebody's going to have too much of your garbage. And they're going to, yeah, put you on the ground. He just thinks he's a big, tough man. And he's a brat. And eventually somebody shows him how wrong he is. I hope he's out cold. Because he deserves to be out cold. What could go wrong if I take this random biker's keys? We have had a lot of illegal uh, stuff on the subreddit today. Just in general. If you're going to do something illegal... Assume it's going to end badly, because if this subreddit has any evidence that it always seems to. So wait. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that would be exactly what would happen. This guy just reaches over and steals the keys, and the biker's like. Um, no. <laughs> Give those back. Oh, walks over and starts beating the crap out of the guy. I wonder if the bike beside him is involved in part of this. I mean, so so the the bike the cyclist that took the keys does did he like think that. He could, he could just like start rolling away and everything would be fine 
Because, like, it's not... It didn't look like he, like, seriously tried to get away. It was like he was like, I get your keys. What are you going to do? He's going to beat you to a pulp. That's what he's going to do, you idiot. He deserved it. <sighs> Lord. People. Right? People. Ah. Okay. Well, that was What Could Go Wrong. Top of all time. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was submitted 15 days ago. Um, however, I feel like it's a repost. I guess it's not labeled as one, but I'm pretty sure I've seen it before somewhere. So maybe maybe it's not a repost. Maybe it's first here. I saw it somewhere else, but it doesn't really matter. What matters is we enjoyed ourselves. We figured out that never, ever, ever my mess with a biker. And when you're committing your robberies, make sure you always have a way out and know how to use your weapons. Okay. Thank you, folks. Have a great night. This is IOE Throughout.